A Minneapolis man needs your help in getting his snowplow truck back. Ed Irwin, who has long lifted the voices of youth in his community, says his truck was taken while he was shoveling snow the other day. He and his family are hoping the community he supported for decades will help uplift him this time around. Here's Sharon Yu. This is what retirement looks like for Ed Irwin. I have a social entrepreneurship project that I started several years ago, working with uh, young people, uh, young adults and elders, trying to bring them together. Part of that work involves hiring youth to shovel snow, which was what he and Crystal Covert were doing on December 18th at St. James AME Church. We just had to shovel the walk, so we stopped the truck, got out, shoveling the walks, uh, only be a couple of minutes. Uh, I think a car was probably following us, but uh, they drove up. A uh, person jumped out, got into my truck, and then they drove both vehicles away. All of a sudden, I heard Mr. Ed uh, screaming, and then I dropped my shovel and I ran to the front, and the car was gone. Gone with the truck, the plow attachment, several snow blowers, and all of Irwin's personal belongings. His daughter says this feels like a gut punch. To hear my dad say that he's devastated by a community he's worked so hard uh, to pour into and has poured into, um, it's heartbreaking for me to hear that as his, as his daughter. But Naisha Smith says she's heartened to see the community step up with a GoFundMe. I know my dad is a very selfless person, and sometimes we... Our, el our elders and our community members, we, d we almost use them to depletion and we forget to fill them back up. Uh, I have no animosity or hatred for those who stole the truck or stole the vehicle. Uh, I just hope that they use it wisely uh, and for, for good. Wow, interesting soundbite at the end there. Keep your eyes peeled for a silver Chevy Silverado with a black and yellow plow attachment. Right now, that GoFundMe is at almost what is that? Up to $4,000 almost. If you'd like to contribute, you can find the link in this story on our website. Ed says if he were to get the truck back, he would donate every cent of the fund to charity.